So let's take a look, Cancer, at what is in store for you. Well, there looks like a little bit of static is happening between communications with others. <coughs> Excuse me. So sometimes you just need to put the sword down and walk away. Evaluate. Is it your fight? Is it somebody else's? Is it somebody just not hearing you or you not hearing them? But I'm encouraging Cancer to put the sword down, take a step away from this, heal your body a little bit, and then revisit whatever that challenge is. But it looks like it's between you and more than one person. Could be at work, could be uh, home, could be family in general. But it looks like there's some static around communication, some miscommunication, and some things that just aren't lining up. So I encourage you, Cancer, to just... Take your leave of it, clear your head, and then you'll be able to jump back in with a little bit more clarity and realize what is yours to fix and what isn't. What crosses you is you're feeling a little bit protective, a little bit overprotective, um, feeling a little bit protective of your heart. Um, also, the blinder is lighting up for me, so pull that blinder off and take a look at the situation. Um, communicate, but open your heart to some movement. Open your heart to some movement. It looks like you're really, really super guarded. You want to look at some changes that are coming up, Cancer. Um, take a look at them and drive that bus of change instead of letting it run over you because the change is coming. So I'm feeling for many of you, it may involve uh, a home, a new home, um, but don't wait till the last minute. Start looking now. Put it out into the universe what you would really like. But take a look at the situation. Honestly, looks like a, there's a little bit of defensiveness, um, a little bit of prove it happening. Um, so put those, those sharp swords down and take a look at what's really happening. And if you can put some energy or, or effort into something before it becomes a big problem, um, it will work out much better for you, Cancer. Looks like some opportunities are coming here. This is the Four of Cups. This is also to do with this change. Not sure if it's home. Not sure if it's work for many of you. It may be both. Um, but it looks like you're really looking at making some changes. Uh, there's a change that's right here in front of you that you're not looking at, that will be presented to you. So keep your mind and your heart open for all the possibilities for this movement and for healing yourself. This orange is lighting up for me a little bit in the shirt, that you are healing your heart, you're healing your situation. Um, but looking at things really honestly is how you take the first step into movement. But there is things that are being presented to you. And for those of you who are looking for a home, it looks like that home will just be presented to you. That it'll just be right there when you need it. So put it out in the universe what you need. And, you know, ask and ye shall receive, basically. So it looks like the obvious things that you're looking at is not going to fulfill the need. That it's something that will just come out of thin air for you and be aware you'll be aware of it all right cancer let's see what else is happening this is in the past it looks like it's a six of swords looks like you've been floating a little bit trying to gain some information uh, figure out what's going on what your next step is and sometimes just floating is the best <coughs> Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I've had a very bad cough for the last week, and now it's re-emerging. So my apologies. Anyway, so this is just floating. Take a look at all your options before you make a choice. Uh, things will be presented to you, but sometimes um, not making a choice is a choice in itself. So you will know when it's the right time to make a move. But things will be shown to you. For right now, it just feels like you need to float a little bit, that you don't have to make any grand decisions. See what is presented to you. And it looks like something that you have just accepted, that you've just kind of relinquished a little control and decided just to see what happens in the next month or so. 
and it will be shown to you. The Ace of Swords is here. This is the God card. It looks like some communication has been opening up for you and that you've had some aha moments around it. Um, it's being um, more in line with the God of your heart, more in line in your purpose, more in line with your communication. It looks like you have really uh, jumped over some hurdle of communication that there was a lot of static happening and um, this could be the backing out of the situation to let it calm down kind of thing but you're really living in your exalted world and making your motion or your behavior match your words so you're really coming from a place of integrity more recently and really looking at all your gifts and feels like also you have some healing gifts or some gift to present to the world. So don't be afraid to go out there and give it a try, whatever that is. Um, I'm a water sign myself and I had to take a leap of faith and start doing these readings on YouTube and it has been very well received. So I feel cancer that this is something along those same lines, some gift that you have that you would like to um, participate in or have it be more visual out in the world. So put down those fears, take a leap of faith and give it a try, whatever that endeavor it is, whether it's um, a new business, whether it's the healing arts, whether it's trying a new hobby, but it's something that you've wanted to do for a while and have faith in your your abilities, excuse me, have faith in your own abilities. Um, they were gifted to you by the Supreme Being and you're really, really good at it. So have a little faith in yourself, dear Cancer. It will all work out. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there in the world for what you need. The future card is new beginnings, kind of triumphant new beginnings, heralding in a new day. Um, presenting yourself and um, your gifts to the world. So this is kind of an extension of this one. If you take that leap of faith, I think it will be real, well received. You need that new house, new job. Um, need to make connections with uh, like-minded like people. Um, so it's really, um, the ground is fertile right now. Everything is really fertile for you to make those moves and make those changes. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there in the world a little bit. And um, it feels very healing to you, very validating. And I think it will be very well received. You, As I said, you have a lot of gifts, gifts to give. So I think this will be a good journey for you. You just got to take that leap of faith and trust yourself. Knight of Pentacles. Now, knights are usually someone under 30. It can stand for a male or a female. It is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, this feels like the foundation of change for you. Um, that there is a connection that you have to open up your possibilities a little bit. Um, this feels like either work or or finding a new home, or whatever your new endeavor is, there is someone there to help guide you. It looks like in the past, too, that they may have turned away from some requests, but it looks like now they are open and ready to um, give that information and to work with you instead of against you. This feels like a past connection that did not pan out very well but now it feels like the ground is fertile things are ready to go um, ask for what you need for those that have the information that you need it from the three of wands is a um, depicts someone really looking into the future which is kind of where you've been at cancer what does your future look like you have spent the last year, year and a half, really healing your mind, healing your soul, and healing your body. Um, for many of you, those looks it looks like um, just really healing yourself, inside out kind of thing, from the inside out, taking a look at things that 
work for you and don't work for you. And it's a continuation of that. What do you want in your future? Some things did work for you, and those are the things you're holding on to. Uh, these experiences, people, places did not work for you, so you're leaving them behind. But taking the information, taking the wisdom of the experience without having to hold on to either that job or the friendship or a relationship. But it looks like you're weeding out the things in your life that have not worked for a while. I also see a movement into the future for travel. Looking off into the distance, this is bringing up travel for me. Um, and I'm feeling lakes, streams, mountainous areas. This is feeling like a visit to mountainous areas. So that is that. The Tower card is Lessons Through Destruction. So it's time to make those changes. It's time to really look at what's going on honestly. If you do not do anything about something that you know that you need to change. Um, a great example is if you're in a very toxic relationship. You know it's not good for you. It's getting worse and uh, you need to release it. If you do not release it, spirit comes in and goes, oh, I'm going to create an affair. I'm going to create someone losing their job. I'm going to create dishonesty, disloyalty. And it forces you to take a look at that life lesson. So that is what's coming up, dear Cancer. So you know what you need to change. Pull off that blindfold. Take a look at it honestly. Get some motion going. Put it out in the universe, what you do need to change, and then step back and see what happens. But if you continue to ignore it, and for those that need to move, that means if you don't start looking for a place, you could be out on your tukas, out on your keister. So whatever it is that you need to do, whether it's looking for a new job, changing your house, releasing a relationship, please look at it honestly and put some effort into owning your part and making those changes. Because if you do not, this is right underneath uh, the justice card, the culmination card. So it is on its way to being manifested, unfortunately. Does not mean that it's going to, you know, explode your whole world, but it does mean that it will be unpleasant until you fix it. Justice is the great equalizer. That can mean anything from um, someone apologizing to dealing with legal matters. Although this does feel like an apology. It's right next to the page of swords. Pages are messages. Swords are air signs. That would be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it looks like there's an apology or um, some type of retribution coming to you from a situation where you did not fare well, that you were either manipulated, lied to, cheated on, something of this uh, magnitude. And it feels like an apology is coming Um from someone or cleaning up some mess and it doesn't look like this is a mess that was happened that just happened recently it looks like something that has happened over the last year or two so there is an um, apology coming or an apology going to someone if you need to do that um, but it looks like it's coming through a message uh, page with swords swords can be a little biting sometimes um, kind of that, that slashing of information sometimes. Um, page also can stand for a child, someone under the age of 18 that is in the Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra spectrum. But this feels like more like an apology. Uh, so pay attention. That will be coming in the month of December. On the other side of things is really gleaning information, gathering information can also mean for many of you going back to school just or taking a class to better the, the skills that you already have. But it is some way of gain, gaining or gleaning information to either further your career or further um, your spiritual quest, it can be for many people, uh, maybe taking a meditation class, but this is opening up your mind to other possibilities and really starting to collect information. Um, 
the discs are lighting up for me as in money that this will further you to uh, for your ability to make more money as well. So for many of you, it may be just upping the um, the current skills that you have and um, putting them into play. So that is a reading for the month of December. Beautiful Cancer. There is some challenges here for you, but some delightful things if you take that leap of faith and really use that the wonderful healing gifts that you have and have a little confidence in yourself and your abilities. So that is a reading. Let me throw a couple of these cards. These are chakra cards for clarity, grief. Looks like you're going through a little bit of stuff from the past, really releasing things that no longer serve you, that allow you to make choices that aren't healthy, and recovery. So there you go. For many of you, it may mean actual physical recovery, sobriety, um, releasing behaviors that no longer serve you, um, releasing mindsets or allowing yourself to heal from childhood traumas, really allowing yourself to recover from the past, living presently. And for some of those, some of you, it is getting to the grief. It is connecting with the anger, betrayal, tears, sadness, whatever it takes to really um, take a look at it and move past it because you are ready. You are ripe for the picking. Dear Cancer, you are ready to move past childhood traumas. You're ready to move past um, hurts of the heart so you can open your heart for new relationships or better the one that you're in currently or creating them if you're not in any at all. So you are recovering. You are recovering, Cancer. Um, so have some faith in yourself. Please have a little faith in yourself. You are amazing healers. You move the energy. All you need to do is take that step into your faith. Step into your faith and your abilities.